So welcome to another tutorial in the web, uh, web server series. In this video we're going to be installing MySQL. So what MySQL will do is it will manage our databases um, and our databases and our site will be able to run WordPress, Joomla and any forum software or even your own software if you create your own. So it's basically going to store your data. So head over to this URL uh, dev.mysql.com forward slash downloads forward slash installer forward slash 5.6 uh, 5.6 uh, link in the description obviously um, so what you want to do is come to this page and there are two downloads one of them is a web installer which we don't want it's a 5.1.5 uh, megabyte one and there's also a 179 megabyte one we want this one so hit download uh, you can log into your Oracle account but there really is no point you to go no thanks just start my download uh, just let this download uh, it's 180 megabytes, I think. Yeah, 180 megabytes. So it's not too big. It shouldn't take too long. Um, I'm just going to fast forward this. Okay, so that's downloaded. We can just run it. And just hit yes to the UAC request and yes again. And we can close Chrome. Okay, so we're on the splash screen. We'll go install MySQL products. And just go through the check. Execute. This is just going to check for updates and stuff. There are none. So press next. Um, Please select the setup type that suits your use case. We're going to go with server. Server is basically if you're running a server. Uh, developer is if you want to create MySQL applications. Um, but you can just use server because that will be fine for what we need. For hosting sites, server is what we want. So press next. You can leave this as the default or if you're using like an SSD and a hard drive, you might want to put it on your hard drive or something. But I'm going to leave it on the C drive. Press next. Uh, press next again and uh, execute. That will install it. This is really quick so I'm not even going to bother fast forwarding through it. Just a couple more seconds. Okay, done. Next. Uh, now I can just go next again. Uh, config type. We want to go development machine in this case because this is actually a proper computer which I'm using for recording tutorials, playing games, all sorts of stuff. So use development machine if you're going to be doing if like lots of other programs are going to be used. So that's in my case. A uh, server machine is if you're going to have a few other programs like a web server and maybe like a um, some one or two applications open. But a server machine is generally a computer that's going to be able to dedicate a lot of resources to the database. And dedicated machine is basically it's going to dedicate 100% of your resources to the database server. So you can't have any kind of web server no programs at all on this, running on this computer except for the uh, database. So this is basically if you're going to have a separate machine just for your database. Server machine if you can have your web server database and whatever. So I'm going to go to development machine because I actually use this computer. Enable TCP IP networking, leave that enabled. Port number 3306 and open firewall ports and you don't need to worry about the advanced options. MySQL root password. I'm just going to set this to password. If you set yours to password, don't blame me if it gets hacked, because it probably will. Press next. Uh, Windows service name, leave that as MySQL56 or whatever your default is. Uh, start with MySQL server at system startup, leave that checked. And standard, uh, standard system account, leave that checked as well. Next. That's just going to configure the product, that's done. Next, finish. Okay, MySQL server is now set up. So now if we were to go into search and MySQL, we can access the command line. And inside the command line, we can just enter our password, so password. And there's the command line. So from here, you can create tables or whatever. You can also download a web application called phpMyAdmin. And you just download that, extract it, and put the files inside your web server. So remember, we had this folder called, so find it, inetpub, and it was inside this www root. Um, that is where you'll put your PHP my admin. I've already got mine in there. I'm not going to show you how to do that because that's really simple and it'll be a waste of time in the video. So if you want to do that, you can, or you can use simple MySQL commands, so like create, like create database or whatever, and so yeah, you can use that. So that's it for MySQL, thank you for watching, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.